Delegates in C-sharp are used to refer a method. The compiler dynamically chooses the method in a class depending on the delegate. This gives a lot of flexibility while programming. A delegate needs to be declared, instantiated, and used. Note that a delegate can refer to only those methods that hold the same signature. You can declare a delegate by using the delegate keyword. In this code, the signature of the delegate is that it takes a parameter of integer type and void as return type. A delegate is declared prior to the method in which it is being used. The declaration of the delegate should possess the signature of the method to be referenced. The delegate is then instantiated in the main method. The method to be called when the delegate is invoked is passed as a parameter in the delegate initialization. The delegate call is similar to the method call. Here we have a method called a function that has one input parameter and no return value. The delegate is declared in the class program. The signature is similar to the function in the class del. Initializing a delegate is similar to any class initialization with a parameter added. This parameter is the method to be invoked by the delegate. The delegate call is similar to any method call. Let us compile the program. Great, the build succeeded. Now let's run the program. You can see the value 5 printed onto the screen. Now exit from the console window. Delegates are of two types, the single-cast delegate and the multi-cast delegate. Derived from system.delegate class, a single-cast delegate contains reference to only one method at a time. A multi-cast delegate refers to multiple methods at a time. The plus equals operator is used to add methods to the delegate. The following example shows how to add multiple methods to a delegate. Multicast delegate is present in the class system.multicast delegate. The following program contains three methods that are referenced by a single delegate. The multicast delegate executes the methods in the order they are added to the delegate. It is compulsory to ensure that the methods possess the same signature as that of the delegate. Using the same delegate, you can call add, multiply, and function methods in one call. Let's look into the output. First, let's compile the program and run it. You can see the output is in the order the methods are invoked by the delegate. First add, followed by multiply, and function. Now to remove a method from the delegate, you would have to use this line of code right here. Here the method multiply is removed from the delegate. Now let's look into the output. Over here, you can notice the output for the multiply method is missing.